us the return of dangerous and reckless commuter vlog. Yay! Oh, day 23. This one should be pretty quick. Uh, how do I make meaningful community involvement? So, yay! More car vlog for day 23. Now, this one I don't do. I don't, I don't do very much well at all. Um, it's one of the things I usually get dinged on my eval. Like, I don't do enough things. But the way that Ohio eval is, is it's like... The, the way our school had it set up, and luckily this is one of the things that the state system has not really emphasized as hard, but I was supposed to like send things home for kids to do with their families, like learning science opportunities with their families, which, you know, ideally sounds like it'd be pretty cool, except I have kids that like hate their families, and not just like normal teenagers like, nah, I hate my family, like I have kids who come from broken households, I have kids who are the product of abuse, I mean, I have, I have kids whose parents aren't there for them, don't care. And I'm supposed to send things home and further remind them that their parents don't care about them. That's, yeah, that's not something that I think I could really ever do to, especially as long as I work with the at-risk population. It's, it's one of the most inequitable things I think that you could do as an educator. And, you know, our, our, our administrators sort of go like, oh, you know, it could be with family or, or friends or, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's, it's not... It's not the same. It's, it's a constant reminder of what these kids don't have that they know their classmates do. And it's just, it's not fair. It's not fair. I mean, I have kids that can't even do a worksheet for homework. How are they going to, you know, how am I going to expect them to sit down with their family and learn some science or teach some science? Or That got really way more rambling than I thought it would. Community involvement, yeah, I don't, I don't really do it. It's not, it's, it's not that I don't want to. And I've talked about it in a previous vlog, how I really want to get to a point where I've figured out a way to have my kids both learning science while doing some kind of like community outreach, community improvement, because there's a lot of things in Knox County that I think could be fixed that Aerial Corporation hasn't bought yet <laughs> that I think, you know, we could we could really work on it, we could really improve on. And there's, there's got to be some ways that I can frame it, not just like a STEM. Like, I could easily throw any, like, oh, science and math and measuring and stuff like that. But I really want, you know, some, like something that teaches them ecology, like some kind of, like, wildlife preserve type thing. And connect with, like, the Brown Family Environmental Center. Or even, I just found out we have a little land lab that the school owns. But, you know, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be tricky because then I have to pull them out of like a whole day of school for a field trip that we walk and muck around in the woods. And uh, I don't know. I just I haven't, I haven't had enough time to sit down and get my brain wrapped around it to make it good. But that's that's the sort of thing that I really I want to go there. But I just I'm not quite sure how yet. So you know, internet hive mind, help me out. How can I bring more awesomeness to my community through the power of science education? There, that was day 23. Thanks for watching, everybody. I have to turn out onto the highway.